But you can see now that we still have a warning here, and it's because this class has to return the self reference. There we go. So this class now looks good. Let's build, make sure we've got everything right. Okay, so now we have the basis of our empty location class. You may remember I said that in order to be able to implement this MK annotation, we had to be able to return those properties. Now that can't be in the way in which the normal property stuff is because we put the properties inside the empty category. So now we have to explicitly create three property returning methods. String title. Now we're going to return underbar title as opposed to self.title because if we implemented self.title here, what would actually happen is it would be a recursive loop because self.title would call the property, which would keep calling the property and never actually return anything until you overflowed the stack. We'll make one for the subtitle. And we'll finally make one for the coordinate. And this again is our CL location coordinate 2D. And it specifically has to be called coordinate. And it returns under where. All right, build that again. Now that's the complete implementation of our class, which is going to be used to provide annotations to our map. So now let's use it. We'll come back over here to our main view controller. And before we set the region in the map, let's add a couple of annotations. So I'm going to add a couple of markers here, one based on exactly our zoom location, and second one that's about half a block away from there. We're going to create a, another coordinate, and we're going to call it marker location. And we're going to initialize it to our zoom location. Now we're going to create an instance of our MT location class. Now you notice empty location isn't defined because we have to come back to our .h file and now we'll do an import for our new class's h file. So import empty location .h. Come back here. Now that'll be resolved. Now we have to initialize it. So we're going to say loc1 equals to empty location. We allocate it. And then we use our new method init with place. And we're going to use marker location for that. And our string, we're going to say 32nd and 65th, which is the names of the streets where that is located. And the area of Seattle, this is called Sunset Hill. All right, and now we can say self.mapView, add annotation, and pass in our location. We're going to make a slight adjustment to our marker location. So we're going to say marker location dot latitude. We're going to make it slightly south and slightly to the east. And then we're going to make another empty location object. And we'll put our marker location in there. And this is called the scoop at Walters. The best coffee in Seattle. Give out some props to the local store here that we love so much. That keeps us going, writing our iOS apps. And now we still haven't done anything with that location. So we need to do again, add it to the annotation list for the map. All right, now let's run this. And now you can see that we still see our sort of two miles by two miles view. And if we zoom in, Remember, you can zoom in by holding down the Option key if you're using the simulator to make things bigger. And you can see that here is our location, 32nd and 65th on Sunset Hill. And here is the Scoop at Walters. Now, if we wanted to start out zoomed in a little bit better, what we would do is to change the Make Region with Distance. So if we make this 500 meters instead of 2,500 meters, we can see a much closer view right from the get-go. Now, before we leave MapKit, I want to take a look at one thing here. We'll take a look, and we'll leave the view where it's supposed to be. We'll just make this slide over a little bit so we can bring up the inspector. And I want to take a look at the MK map view class reference. The reason is that I want to mention the MK map view delegate protocol. 
And inside the MView Map View Delegate, you can do things like start tracking the user. You can handle specific annotation views. You can handle when the user taps on a button and take them to some other mechanism. You can finish loading the map data so that you can, for example, go get map data from a live service and add these things to it after it's already been built. And as you're getting data from the web service, make the pins show up on the map. So there's a lot of things you might want to look at here inside the MK Map View Delegate Protocol. All right, and that's it for Explore Map Kit. Next up, we're going to look at yet another feature of Advanced UI Kit.